Welcome to another round of Time Spinner Rando. May I get the mic out of my face there a little bit? Uh, let's see. Oh, good. I got my PS5 controller back working. I, uh, earlier I had a lot of issues with controllers and what I eventually had to do was actually go into Device Manager and manually remove all there and that seemed to solve all the issues. And now I used 8-Bit Duo and the PS5 controller I spent so much damn money on. I'm actually going to continue this round. It started off pretty good. Um, I got a couple of the key cards right away. I think I like the B card and the A card right away, so. And then we're gonna do a lot of exploring up front. Besides, so I'm just gonna continue this file. I'm not gonna restart it, don't need to. I just need to remember, what was I doing? Okay, I think I had already gone up and around. I'd already explored uh, the elevator card section, the vanilla location for the elevator card. I haven't gone into the VIP lounge at the library because I don't have the tablet yet. So I think one thing I will do is, now I did go through here, but I didn't save it. back through here just so I can activate the warp stuff. Oh, that's right. That was a good one I found. I remember that now. And I did... Let's see. Forbidden Palm. Forbidden Palm. Battle. Oh. Um... Oh, wait! I don't need to go this way again. I don't always go to the pyramid, you never know. There have been times where I found the double jump in here and the gravity boots. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's not what they're called. I played Castlevania at the same time, but I played this one. There was a really interesting uh, playthrough I did. Uh, as a practice round, I kept getting the dream wisp. Oh. There is a check all the way to the left. That's something I've been getting a lot of at last. there just yet. Uh, not worth it. And I am running a mod that kind of shifts everything around. Where the eternal brooch is pretty much her eyes without, without her cat robe. I'm not going to fight as as Melody's prime just yet. I don't... Oh, you know what? Couldn't hurt to try. Uh, I don't have light wall. It's a thief. Weakest I've ever fought on. Oh, 
looks pretty good. Yeah, wow. Get the rank up and... He's actually a pretty weak boss. I do remember like but one on my first few playthroughs. He was always pretty difficult. What this also does is set up a few cutscenes. <laughs> Check up here. Put the jerky from the jerky. Section definitely worth going through a couple of times. I'll go this way. Well, oh, this is I'm doing this one for YouTube, so I. Oh, that's not good. One thing I need to mention is uh, I'm playing buff mode. The buff is the stuff. That would actually be pretty good right now. Go back this way. I can. Uh, this this way will will warp me back to the. Uh, return to hideout. The thing about those is that they'll give me money. Oh, well, good thing I came through here. Now I got my now I got my uh, first chunk. Point in dropping four defense for just one for one damage. <laughs> and going in here, we'll we get to see triggered multiple weird cutscenes at once. Go this way. In the wall, come rumbling down. When the wall, come rumbling, rumbling, rumbling down. Okay, older. Uh, well, I guess I'll go back to the towers. Oh. Get the pyro ring. <laughs> oh wait, I, I I do need to look at a couple things.
Siren security system here. room is next? I think I have to sit. Oh, actually no point in going in there. Can't be Talbot just yet. Oh. There I go. Oh. oh, I don't have the double jump, so I can't get in there. Oh. I point out is a lot of times reason why I use the 8-bit do instead of the PS5 controller is when I'm playing the regular run of time spinner. I can't do it that way. Because for whatever reason. Um the game just completely takes over the controller and won't let any other program access it. Here, I might as well just take a look at the experience. Yeah, that was worth the trip. You know, I could probably go through another cutscene. One that you don't normally see a whole lot. And we ran those. Oop, two days. Kill them all. This I command. Uh, I've seen the sprite sheets for this game. I've actually unpacked them and looked at them. And yeah, somebody, uh, I forget whoever did the actually made all these sprites and man they like made walking sprites and the less swimming sprites and the less floating all three i think all three versions of i'm saying like all three versions of all three versions of blue nias have floating sprites. I don't know if they even really see them. Yeah. Okay, so that's how come the Lesk knows about. All right, let's see. I think I'll do my usual castle. I almost always go to the castle. I don't have any way to burn the vines right now. I go make a check over here real quick. 
Did the bird all give me anything? Oh. You're already fine. Ah, uh, I... uh, no, no. I thought I got very low level. I know the double jump and gravity with her over there. Uh, let's see, I can make a couple of treasure checks down here. Oh, I definitely can now. Good thing I went this way. That definitely makes life a lot easier. As a matter of fact, I. Oh, I got that right away. Go change a couple. Well, I will be needing the uh... yeah, bombardment works really good against the center toys. later on um do i even really need to go that other way uh. now, later on i might have to use the uh, ice wall quite a bit so One today. So I have this. I should be able to make this jump right here. Nope. Okay, good. I can go the other way now. I'm not too sure if this is the game telling me to go the other way. Brother, ah, good. Really want to check that before going elsewhere. Enough. Oh. I had to reset the drawbridge anyway. Okay. Dep 
we change that until I get the galaxy earring, at least. We're getting a few lows. my usual basement run. I don't have the uh, flood mode on. I probably need that. I'm definitely gonna need that later. Surveyor Slayer. minutes so when I get done with the center point I'll call it a break Um, to 
there be any stories for me to tell? Should I tell the one about the spare tire? This happened like a little while ago? Um... I'll tell it here. I've gone on telling it on another video site. Just as April looking at the camera just like this. I'll probably have her be playing Time Spinner and as she's doing it, but you can't see the game going. But you just see April talking. Um... <laughs> Uh, suffice it saying, uh, when driving the company vehicle, the company insists that I do not change tires. They don't want to risk me getting injured. Even though it's something I did all the time in the army, but they said, no, 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 you do not touch the tires like that. You let mechanics do it. You see, because, uh, they come for warranty and guarantee you don't. Yeah, I tell him, yeah, the only thing I guarantee is that I'll try do my best, but... So I stopped by uh, the tire place. I, what, I, what happened is I noticed that a tire on my vehicle was badly torn up. But it was still holding air, thank goodness. And just to put the spare tire on. And now this is going to sound incredibly silly, but it is true. And I'm not giving out all the details. But I told the mechanic inside that, hey, uh, for the time being, I just need you to just put the spare tire on. That's it. He said no, he couldn't do it. And by the way, this is a national chain I'm talking about here. There, he said he couldn't do it because he could not allow me to be going around with a bad tire. I told him, it's a spare tire. It's... You're just gonna put it in, you're just gonna take the bratty tire that's still holding air and put it in the back. And just put the spare tire on. And by the way, the spare tire is actually, um, the identical tire. It's not one of those, it wasn't one of those little donut things. It was an actual full on regular tire. But he said that I cannot let you out of here. And I called my boss up and told him, hey, these guys are saying they're refusing to do the job. And they say that I have to buy a new tire. By the way, I like. Did I tell you that this is a national brand? And so the boss uh, found another people uh, who would do it. And you know, getting over to them wasn't easy. I actually had to drive quite a few miles just to, with a bad tire in my vehicle, nervous that a cop might see it or. It might blow out all the way and I'll be stranded on the side of the road, but I made it over to the other place and, you know, they weren't cheap. And it took them a while, but they did exactly what I needed. They just swapped the tire around and I said, that's okay, don't need a new one, don't need an old one. I'll just be, um, on my way and I say thank you and I really need to give these guys a five star on Google. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Yeah. Stop and get something to drink.